the story of survival during a crime-ridden time in Washington, D.C.'s history. Slug, a boy's life in the age of mass incarceration, tells the true story of Tony Lewis, Jr., and here to tell us more and when you can get your hands on one of the first hard copies of this book is the author himself, Tony Lewis, Jr. Good to see you this morning, Good my morning. friend. Um, tell me about this. Uh, your father's in in incarceration sparked this. Tell me what happened when you were young. Yeah, when, uh, in 1989, my father went to prison. Um, it's part of the, probably the biggest drug conspiracy in the history of, of D.C. Um, my dad is the alleged partner, Rafe Edmond, you know, pretty well-known drug dealer in, in D.C. And so my life got turned upside down from that moment on. Um, and, and so the book kind of chronicles my life, uh, what happened um, since then. And not just in terms of uh, my him going to prison, but also what that did to my mother, um, a very devoted mom. Um, but the, the stress of that situation, um, you know, it, it took her through a lot, and, since, and then we went through a lot based on that. Um, but the values that was in, were instilled by her, and then my other family members, my aunt, my grandmother, um, it helped me get through a lot of things. And in communities like the one I come from, my my story wasn't unique. You know, um, we we grew up in fatherless communities, um, mm -hmm. and, and the book is really kind of dissect, trying to dissect what that looks like and, and show America what that looks like. Well, and I think that's what we miss as a society is that their Hollywood glamorizes it all. Oh, the criminal went off to jail and that kind of thing, but sure. you miss the victims back at home. We had a, a talk a, a few weeks ago, another uh, a female author with the book of kind of a similar situation. Mm -hmm. Her dad was involved with the Wolf of Wall Street, and right. again, a, a similar thing and how the impact it has uh, on the families. Sure. Um, how was it to see? President Obama then go to a prison recently and actually and, and pay homage to people there that hey that these are people too and sure. the families are involved. So sure. very very exciting. Um, I mean, you think about it, the first time a sitting president has visited a mm -hmm. prison. I think that's very telling about um, people's perception or, or how people look at prisoners. Prisoners, uh, yeah, they did break the law, but they are fathers and brothers and mothers, um, and they have families, and there have been tons of collateral damage um, as a, re a result of them leaving their communities, um, and especially nonviolent drug offenders like my father, who people that receive, receive life without parole um, and, and may never return to their family. So um, I think it was, it was great for the president. I was very happy about that, and I hope he can take that um, as he talks about impact and mass incarceration, to really focus also on reentry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a workforce development professional as it relates to returning citizens, um, as we call them in D.C., people that are formerly incarcerated. So I know the importance of helping people get back on their feet when they return so they won't go back to jail. Excellent. I've got about 20 seconds left. What recommendations do you have for young people to help them if they have a parent who becomes incarcerated? Yeah, I think you want to see the value in your parent, um, even if it's just about not, not doing what they did. Um, mm -hmm. Understand that the parents can be... Uh, positive contributors to their lives and that you can overcome anything you can be whatever you want to be I know that sounds cliche but it's the truth mm -hmm. I'm proof of it there you go well the book is called slug uh, a boy's life in the age of mass incarceration where can people go to get the book uh, they can go out? to uh, sluglife.com um, and for ebook they can go to any like Kindle iBooks Kobo Nook um, and Politics and Pros on 14th and V. Okay, and you've got tomorrow night at 7, a book release at yeah, uh, Busboys Bus Boys and Poets. Poets. Yeah, 5th and K location, 7 and 9. Okay. I hope everybody can come out. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. And nice job of bringing this to, to the forefront. Thanks for having me. This is something, again, that is a topic that is not talked about in this context. Sure, appreciate so, it. So, yeah, nice job. Thanks okay. a lot. Tony yep. Lewis, Jr. Well, well done.